Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. From this video, I am starting a new series on React Native. React Native is a hybrid application development platform using JavaScript that we use for creating hybrid mobile applications. Means by using React Native, you can create mobile application for Android as well as for iOS for other platform also. It is widely used library for mobile application development. I have loads more videos on React, on React with the TypeScript, React Material UI, React Hook, React Router. So many videos, more than 300 so videos I have created on React. Now I am creating videos on React Native. Here I am starting the latest library that I am going to use of React Native. In this video I am going to explain what is React Native, types of React Native application, what is the difference between Expo CLI and Native CLI application. From next video I will start how you can create Expo CLI application, how you can create Native CLI application how you can convert a expo application into native application and we will also understand the directory structure of both and loads more is going to come it will be a big series because i will create more than 50 to 60 video on this it's just the first video and beginning of this so let me understand what is react native if you see that here i have written a definition that react native is a javascript framework for writing real natively rendering mobile application for iOS and Android. It based on React, Facebook, JavaScript library for building user interfaces, but instead of targeting the browser, it targets the mobile platform. If you want to target for browser, you have a React library, you can use a React TypeScript, you can use a React material ui i have created lots of video on this i have a separate playlist also if you are new for react you can learn those first then come to this so now we have two types of platform for developing a react native application first one we have a react expo cli second one we have a react native cli you can see the official website of react native if i click on get started and you will see that here we have a two types of way to create a react application first one is we have a expo go means expo cli platform then we have a react native cli so what are what is the difference between these two and how they are linked together and how they are unique from each other that we are going to learn here so just i explain you writing here that we have this we can say expo go here also go cli and here what is the difference between these two we are going to understand you see that uh, this react uh, expo is a third party free third party library and this native is free facebook team library this is a native library that maintained by the facebook team or meta you can say the meta because name have been changed to meta team library now uh, for expo we write fast application development we can say it's easy easy to create mobile application here not easy required mobile application experience okay then we have fast mobile application development environment fast application fast app development environment environment and third point here is slow app application development slow means the comparison means as compared to expo library then we can say use to create mobile application that have less hardware requirement like we have a e-commerce application e-commerce application e-commerce apps we can say chatting apps and etc here 
we can say that used to create all kind of application including including we can say antivirus we can say system scanner we can say here app need native hardware support we can say like uh, we can say like apps required bluetooth bluetooth then required wi-fi native library means if you are directly interacting with hardware like antivirus is always interact with hardware system files system scanners file scanner then the application which directly required hardware supports and we required permissions so then we require this react native cli otherwise if we have a business oriented application e-commerce type of application where requirement with hardware interaction is less so we can use react export so as you uh, understand here that we have a two types of react native application development this is expo and we have a native in expo it's a free third party library easy to create mobile applications if a fresher user is there you are new for application mobile application in development environment then you can go and use expo then fast application applica application development it is fast as compared to this native and uh, where here we required uh, you can say the experience of mobile application development you should be aware with manifesto file because uh, here we did we need manifest file if i say here so we required manifest file manifest dot xml file we required here this file is used for permissions purpose but here we doesn't require this so here here does not require required this manifest file manifest xml file so we can say that react expo is a pure react environment we can say here that it is a, it is pure react environment react environment to build mobile application hybrid mobile application mobile apps here we can say it is pure you can say native environment to build hybrid hybrid mobile application so that means in react native you can create all kind of file that expo can create because expo is used only for the application development which required less hardware interaction but by using react native you can create all kind of android application whether it is required hardware support or whether it is a business oriented application all type of application you can create in react native but it is it is it is not uh, not a fast application development it is the expo is a fast application development easy also and it's a pure react environment so you can create application in react environment but here in react native cli you should understand or you should be aware with android or ios application development also then you can use manifest file or you should be aware that how you can create a native application native application using react native library so i think i clearly explain you that where you can use expo environment and where you can use native cli environment for creating a react native application a lot more maybe uh, difference between these but it is a general difference to understand and start your react application development journey so i explain you that uh, these are the differences between react expo this is a react native library we javascript based library to create a hybrid application using javascript that's all in this video in next video we will see uh, how we can create the first react application using expo and in next to so next video we will see how we can create by using react native cli so that's all in this video if you like it, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.